everybody, and welcome to this brand new episode here on Britain's Spawn. So, the uh, half-term holidays did indeed catch me out towards the end of last week, and I wasn't able to record um, the videos towards the end of the week, but, you know, as I, as I sort of suspected they would do, um, it, 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 it it did cat you know i just couldn't get a free period where the house was quiet um and uh you know to record the videos we're having a little bit of uh, renovation work done as well and um, we were having a new floor late friday uh in the living room so and that's where i do my recording so uh, it just didn't happen but today monday morning as you can see top right 8:54, we are back to recording and uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's good to be back, and hopefully now we can get the schedules back up and running, and uh, get the videos out nice and regular. There's going to be some more changes coming up over the next uh, probably week to two weeks, maybe running into a month. Um, so if the videos again do stop don't despair and please don't unsubscribe because the videos are going to be coming bang on the dot every day uh, I am rapidly working towards having a solution uh, where I will be able to record no matter what is going on in life um, so just as I say if the videos do at some point either over the next week or into next week or as I say you know the week after up to about a month uh, would be I would say is how long it might be um, but if those videos do slow down or do stop then don't panic and like I say please don't unsubscribe because you know we're, we're, we're doing um, fantastic at the minute but um, and then as I say after that once the videos start again hopefully um we 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 you know we should be able to be recording every day um and and then that way the videos will come right that's enough about uh, enough with the admin we are up here at richard ertel's farm as you can see we've got some bales there that we bailed my land and his land for the sheep which is good and today we have so you can see the money's gone up a little bit but that's because Richard has put in a hundred thousand pounds into my account because he's a very generous man and I'm gonna run off to the Bahamas no I'm not um, he's put the hundred thousand into my account because he's a bit camera shy so he isn't going to be doing any work for us whatsoever but today we are going to be laying or building a new farm layout for sheep now we've been busy over the weekend and the days that we haven't been recording vlogs and we've cleared this land here you may remember there was trees and and uh, walls and stone walls and stuff like that here so we've cleared this both his fields so it's fine we're not going to be infringing on anybody um, we've cleared this and we've also cleared this which had uh, stone walls a fence and quite a few trees in it um, we've cleared this as well um, we've cleared this all the way down so when we get to this end you'll see that uh, the stone wall that was here because it was like a sort of a t-shaped um, stone wall just here uh, which narrowed that off quite a lot so we've now cleared that and this up here is going to be my roadway because obviously I'm going to be the one looking after the sheep for us. Um, we're going to share the money from the wall uh, because it's on his land. Uh, and any associated costs that we have, well, obviously we split 50-50 as well. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing all the work. But uh, as I say, he's providing the land. And also as well, he does have quite a bit of grass. So it does mean that if I want to, I can turn my grass over to arable. Um, and he said that he's more than happy for his grass to be the ones that feed. Um, for now, the sheep. But we um, 
we kind of want to see how that goes and then if that goes well um, we'd maybe like to start thinking about getting some uh, cows and uh, some uh, other animals too but for now we're going to do sheep because way back with my Britain's toys uh, in my bedroom the very first thing that I set up was a sheep farm uh, mainly because there was one just down the road from us uh, they were arable farmers but they they uh, did have and still today have a lot of sheep um, so that's what we're going to do because that's what I did way back on my Britain's farm when I was a, a, a wee small boy shall we say so this is the area that I've picked out it's kind of the flattest now I wanted to use Terra Farm hence the reason why originally I bought the bucket and the JCB because my plan was was that we were going to set the bucket down just about here because this is quite level and we were going to level all of this and we were going to get lots of lovely stones from it and soil and everything else and then we were going to tip those stones and soil into a, uh, a lime uh, producer and we were going to produce our own lime however as I stated with a little while ago with the uh, uh, the track uh, down on the farm I wanted to level it I wanted to fill in the water and stuff like that no terra farm just doesn't seem to work properly on this map it did before I deleted the hedges uh, and I know it did because um, I put up two videos of my own personal save game what I do to relax and I'm using Terra Farm on there, absolutely no problems. But for whatever reason, removing the hedges has resulted in Terra Farming on this particular save game not working as it should. Um, so we're going to have to do it via the in-game editor, unfortunately, which is a bit of a poo pants because, as I say, I really wanted to do it that way, sort of try and do it as realistic as possible because you know it's how I like to play the game um, you know I, I understand that the, 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 at the end of the day it is a game um, and the parameters of the game mean that you can uh, cut corners slightly you know um, but on the whole I like to do it as realistic as possible so plan is we go from here or here somewhere probably about here and we'll level all this We'll keep that fence there because there's a fence in there. Um, that hence the reason why the grass is long here because um, I didn't want to get too close. But we'll keep that and we'll level all of this all the way up here. All the way to either level with or just past uh, that concrete. And then we'll put the sheep this end. So the, the, the shed uh, this end. Um, obviously the shed that I was using way back when I was younger, I, you know, that I can't find it in farming sim, not modded or certainly not in game, but modded, I can't find it. So I've had to go with something that A, kind of fits the period, B, kind of fits the map and doesn't look out of place. So hopefully I've, I've made a good choice. Um, but if not, um, you know, forgive me. And if you know of better, um, you know, mods, or you know models of sheep farm out there or pens let me know but anyway let's crack on otherwise this video is going to be one year long so we've got a little bit of money and I'm not the world's greatest terrain editor with the Giants one okay so <laughs> this may go wrong and I will be honest enough that if I have to re-record this video, <laughs> I will tell you what take I'm on. <laughs> I don't know whether to start from that corner actually, or whether to start from this corner. I think this corner. So right, we'll make that slightly bigger. Uh, we're on, yep. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go across there. Down there. Right. Here goes nothing. And what I like about this terrain is, is that it does change the terrain texture so I can actually see where I've been. Doesn't seem to be doing too much at the moment. 
it's going to raise it at some points and then it's going to obviously flatten it at other points but that's fine alright leave that in there <laughs> no, we need to just come down here we don't want to get right up against the concrete because what you'll find will happen is, is that it will upset the uh, terrain of that concrete and then the concrete will be floating in the air like all the trees <laughs> it's not a good look especially when you're doing YouTube videos <laughs> but we'll uh, this will be the first uh, job and then we'll make it pretty we'll add some trees and stuff like that as I say we don't want to go too far down here probably up to about there and then well it was almost straight to be fair to me let's uh, just do that straight otherwise uh, my <laughs> otherwise my uh, OCD is going to be uh, is going to be bothering me for the rest of the day oh oh ah <laughs> I was going to say what happened to my cursor <laughs> Why does that keep disappearing? Oh, I know why. Because I'm off the map. <laughs> That's why. Right, that for now will do. We will go back and tidy that up. Uh, buildings, and then we want to go to animals, and then we want to go to sheep. And like I say, I chose the one that I thought would fit the map. Uh, the sort of in keeping of you know sort of as much as I could really of everything so we will put this just here set it a bit that way and then a bit that way like that there we go right now for whatever reason I always get this texture whenever I lay a building. I don't know why. I don't know, you know, again, whether it's something I've done to the map uh, or, or, you know, or quite what. I don't know. But I always get this texture, so we will just take it out because uh, I don't really like it. It looks silly having your sheep in a field of poppies right now what I like now what I like to do is just to come out and see what terrible damage I have done and this is the reason why I wanted to leave oh I may not have left enough room I may not have left enough room or oh, I might be able to get down there and this is also the reason why I've left a bit of room right so what we need to do is then we're going to have to come from that way to get down there to that for the water um, that's fine we'll put a roadway down here actually to be fair that hasn't done too bad a job we'll put a roadway down here uh, we'll make this hard standing but I haven't left enough room here Hmm, what I could do. Hmm, even my little, because of that big, um, well, I would call it a, a water, but, but that might not be the correct term for it, but because of that, I can't get the tractor down here, so I'm going to have to come from that way, which is fine, because we'll just put a hard standing all the way around. And then, uh, once we get the hard standing down there, put hard standing down here, um, because that's actually quite a nice little gap there that's been left. And then we will hard stand this bit. We'll leave that bit along there. 
and then we will put some hard stand in. Right, hello everybody again. You won't know because of the my genius editing, but for some reason my my screen recorder stopped recording, and I was waffling away to myself. <laughs> Uh, but luckily, I hadn't actually done anything. Um, so basically, what we did there was we took out obviously the poppies, and we're now going to lay in the hard standing. So <clears throat> we're going to put a track in here because it's kind of pre-laid out for us anyway. So a track in here, and then obviously we're going to put a track down there, and then we'll probably hedge that off just so that it's separate from the grass and the field. So we'll hedge that off. And then uh, what we'll do is, is uh, as I say, put in the hard standing. And then we need to get the sheep. And then we need to get the uh, bit of sort of decor in. Um, and we're also going to need our bale grab, aren't we? Because we're going to need to do that. But anyway, let's crack on with this. So the the um, as I say, the hard standing is going to come from here. Go round here. And then up there. So let's crack on with this. As you probably are aware, for those of you that follow me, I've never done a uh, a farm build on YouTube. So if I'm waffling way too much, I do apologise. Um, just very passionate about what I do. Um, love the game. You know, always wanted to do YouTube. Never really had the sort of mental conviction or strength or courage to sort of do it and then last year kind of like whatever let's just get on with it um, a few things happened actually that kind of uh, made that happen so uh, one of the things that happened was I discovered that my computer had got an inbuilt uh, screen recorder um, so that helped because it meant I had obviously a way of recording what was going on on my screen. I haven't done a very good job there, but that doesn't matter. We can talk about it. Right, so. Uh, and then from there, across to there. I'll make all that hard standing. It would be nice as well at some point to get to... Uh, some bale storage close by but at the moment that little lean-to is is more than adequate for you know the amount that we've got so we're thinking about buying 20 sheep each uh, which is uh, cool yeah so anyway as I was saying like you know didn't really have the uh, now then do I really want all that hard standing I don't know really so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it from there. Just try and fill that in. Yep. Down here. And so I did it. And then, you know, views and stuff was okay. Uh, you know, but... I don't know, I just... It's, it, I don't think it was ever a case of I thought that I was just going to upload a video and, you know, things was going to be great. But I, I, I kind of think I was doing videos in the beginning for the wrong reason and that's kind of what I mean I've I, I, you know I've suffered from sort of low self-esteem and and uh, you know sort of uh, mental illness ever since really I was young I mean you know my heart condition has kind of well dear well that's gone wrong <laughs> Um, you know, ever since really I was young, uh, my heart condition has sort of seen to that, uh, and uh, a few other things that have happened in my life as well, um, you know, has sort of kind of facilitated, uh, you know, the fact that my self-esteem and my self-confidence is, you know, not very high, um, and, uh, as I say, I, I think in the uh, beginning, 
I, I'm on a straight edge now, James. In the beginning, I was doing the YouTube videos f really for the wrong reason. Um, and as I say, January this year, it changed, really. I woke up one day and, and you know, so, suddenly just kind of thought, you know, why aren't I doing what I want to do? I want to do it uh, and, and see it nothing, as nothing more than enjoyment, as nothing more than, you know, when the time comes, you know, my little boy is going to have, you know, something to watch, hear my voice, you know, uh, uh, and get enjoyment, you know, from, from the video. So I, that was kind of then my sort of drive and inspiration. And because of that, I've, um, you know, I've really started enjoying it and, and getting a lot of comfort from the fact that, you know, there's something there for him you know, in in the future, you know, when the time comes that I'm sort of not around or whatever, you know, so, but yeah, anyway, that's the hard standing there done, and down there, that's not that great, that isn't, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to lay a hedge and separate, now, we don't need to, I'm annoyed about that bit, but we can sort of fix that. Um, get a hedge and we'll set the hedge like so to there we don't need one the other side um, and then somewhere in there there is a fence does it come on the way down? oh it did oh well if I'd have known that I would have gone all the way to there. There, that doesn't look too bad. That's okay. And like I say, we're just and then probably as well put one like that to there. Would we have one all the way along there? Just tidy that. Oh, yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad. That end bit's not straight. Mm, that kind of bother me too much. That gonna bother me too much. All right, we'll do it from this way. There we go. And then from there to there. some trees in that bit mm, is it in others no landscaping yeah right, let's choose some nice trees And then we'll hedge around there and then around there. What about that? And then to there. Alright, so that's made that quite to uh, quite quaint and Englishy sort of country wise and then as I say eventually we'll put a, a hedge down there um, all the way along separate that off so now we'll go back to hard standing all right now if I get this right
I'm not bothered too much about taking uh, the field at this point, if I'm honest. Or taking some of the field, I don't want to take all of it, but even if I take some of the field, I'm not too worried about that at this point. We need to make a bit of a track here, so... What we'll do is, is um, as I say, we'll come back and hedge that. And then... Uh, separate the, the grass field from the track and the arable field from the track as well. We'll try, if we can, I don't know as if we're going to be able to do it, but we will try and run a straight hedge all the way down. Um, this meaning that we can then, I'm not too bothered about how much I go into the field, because we can uh, sort that out later. But um, it would be nice to get some sheep added to this, uh, to this farm. Um... Very nice. And I'm back again. <clears throat> yep, we had another crash. <laughs> I have uh, no idea what is uh, going on with my uh, recording at the moment, but luckily this time I sort of noticed it almost straight away. Um, so I didn't get too much further with the painting. Uh, but uh, hopefully that uh, may have solved the problem. I think it might be a memory issue. Um, that's what I'm hoping for anyway because I've just uh, given myself uh, quite a bit more uh, space. I don't quite know what happened to all the memory on my computer but I think that's what might be causing the issue. Just make that a little bit more of a uh, Of a uh, right, so that wants to go about there and about there, and then what we can do is is we can uh, then arc them off, so we don't need to be right up to our field because, uh, as I say, we don't need to be wiping out our crop. There we go gone a little bit far there. That's fine. I went a little bit far there, but oh, I'll land there. Never mind. Got a slightly wider road this time, which is uh, always uh, handy. It's going to be better as well, actually, putting this roadway in because we won't have to use the bit now with the with the uh, the dip with the water um, because uh, that sort of it, it's a bit tight and narrow around there and whilst you know we don't have huge equipment I understand that but we do sort of take trailers around there uh, that I'm thinking more of the flatbed trailer with the bales and uh, it, it just kind of worrying me that at some point I am going to tip the uh, bale trailer over. I haven't done a very good job at this lane. Off camera I might come back and tidy this up because uh, as I say I've not done a very good job here. But um, I've gone a little bit too wide to be fair. I've gone a lot wider than what I was hoping for. Right and then we will run it off to there. Uh, another thing that uh, we might do as well is wonder why I've only got eleven thousand pounds. Ah, hedges and trees. Yes, 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 of course. So we will uh, now hard stand this bit up to here. Like I say, that bit, the other side, we're, we're probably going to, um, right, let's uh, get down between the trees, uh, actually, 
Let's spin ourselves around. We can see better from this way. A bit of hard standing here now. So that's going to make this a bit better. Because as I said before, like in real life, this would this would bog really badly. Um, and uh, you just wouldn't have that nor want that. Um, let's turn this one now. So we'll do it up to about there. And then we'll put it in here as well. Because at the winter time I do uh, I do store my uh, flatbed trailer here. Right. Excellent. Spin the camera. And then what we'll do is is we'll put a hedge in. Don't know how well this is gonna go actually. Do you know what I really hate about the the editor and this is why I like using Terrafarm because it does it doesn't happen but is I now can't sort of bend, you know, bring the camera down and round a little bit so I can see the other end, so I know where I'm aiming. Um, you know, as it is, I have to guess. Um, and so we can alleviate a little bit of the guesswork. Got a horrible feeling, yeah. I'm not going to allow that. In which case, we will get rid of that. And uh, we will go and move the uh, telly ball up. Book it up. And uh, no, actually, I don't want to put it that side because I'm going to hedge that side. <laughs> I'll trap it field side, so we'll put it down here. <coughs> right, <laughs> let's try that again. Like I say, as, as we go through, we're probably going to have to just tidy a few things up anyway. And just make things look a little bit neater, but if we get it done now, and haven't said that. I probably haven't got the money now to hedge down there. Um, yeah, probably haven't got the money. Oh. That's just because you don't actually have to. Yeah, not enough money. So to do that, it's going to be 38,000. Okay. <laughs> well, we've got the start of the hedge there. So let's just get down there and have a little look at uh, what we've done. I was... <laughs> I was thinking, where did it go? But it's okay, it's round the corner here. Alright, all that needs sorting out. So this is what we do now, we just go round and uh, and uh, just uh, sort any uh, little bits and pieces out that are not quite right, and this be one of them. Until we get some more uh, gold pennies. And a glass in there. Mm. 
We'll go too far with it. That's fine. Good. No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. And then we'll shrink that down. Come back into here. To be fair, that didn't go through. I thought that was going to go through, but as I say, until we get some uh, went through that side, though, didn't it? Until we get some uh, more gold pennies, we um, we can't. Mm. I've got a feeling that's going to just keep coming back. That's annoying. As I say, that happens now on every map that I have. That happens. I get that texture. I don't know why I get that texture. But that happens on every map that I have. Even with the in-game animal pens, that happens. But anyway, let's have a little skyward view now of our... Um, of our little sheep farm that we've made. And that actually doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's see if we can get a bit of a better overview. No because I can't turn the camera but that doesn't look too bad and like I say we're eventually what we'll do is we'll hedge down here hedge along here all the way to here and then we'll have no hedging sort of this end because we don't really need it but that will just then offer a little bit of separation now whether I hedge completely down here I don't know yet and the reason I don't know yet is because this originally um, get my bearings yeah this originally just here so all of this here up oh, there down there all of this was gonna be the new farm I know you're thinking wow that's a bloody big farm um, but my intentions was originally to do um, like factories and stuff like that However, I don't know as whether that is really in keeping with the save as such. The, you know, the, the, the principal idea behind the save is, is that it's about Britain's farm and about all the toys. And I think as such we should keep it that way. So I'm thinking that one of these fields, probably this one to be fair, is going to be the farmyard. And from that we are going to obviously just have like sheds and you know probably um, grain stores or something like that because um, again it was something that was made for me my granddad originally did one grain store for me and then um, my uncle Stephen he did a couple um, some nice ones actually to be fair and my dad also did me um, I think one or two as well and they, they, they were nice uh, both him and uh, my uncle made them with the proper arch roofs um, and uh, with corrugated cardboard managed to look like um, make it look like um, corrugated roofs as well so um, they were really nice and, um, and so it's uh, probably going to be this bit here I mean it might spill into this bit it doesn't matter if it does but Hopefully it won't, but as I say, probably again for next year, this will be cropped again. Um, we'll just try and survive on that little tiny batch. Um, but we have got Richard now on side, and, and so there are a few sheds up here now that we can use as well. But I think uh, that's going to be it for today's video, uh, mainly because of the uh, recording demons that I've had Um so I think what we'll do is we'll call it. Oh, actually, I've just seen. I've just seen something. It's going to annoy me too much. I'm going to have to do it if I can uh, get. The, oh no, it's actually no. That's I didn't see the gate. Um, might have. Might take that bit out actually. To be fair, and then that might make a little bit of a buildable area there for some bale storage. Um, so I might take that out. Might take that building and then these fences out. Uh, I might take all of that out, um, even though I have just built it up. Um, there is a bit that will annoy me. <laughs> That's 
OCD is really not a great thing to have. Um, it can get you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but, oh man, look. But you just have to do it. Anyway, like I say, that's probably going to be it for today's video. Um, thank you ever so much for uh, for joining in <coughs> and watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, it's my first ever farm build on YouTube, so hopefully I did a decent job. Um, and uh, I hope you will join me again next time for another episode on uh, Britain's Farm. And all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.